shake that body. Get, get, get down. Hello and welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today I'm just going to show you how to quickly create a VST instrument, have it triggered via some MIDI and to be able to bounce it down or render in place to create audio from that VST instrument. So first of all let's press F11 and open up our VST instruments. What I'll do is create a track instrument, go to synths and to retrolog, click add track and what you can see there is it creates a MIDI track opens up our retro log and what I'll do now is I'm just going to drag and drop a pre-configured MIDI file mainly so I don't have to play anything in so it's just a basic MIDI sort of lead file what I'll do is I'll just turn that down a little bit so F3 open up our mixer I'm just going to reduce the volume let's close our mixer back down so let's just pick something a little bit more lead like There you go, that'll do. So, just turn the resonance down and bring the filter cut off down a little bit. So there you can see we've now got a MIDI file triggering our VST instrument and I've just turned the filter cut off down so it's not quite as in your face. And what we'll do now is we'll just do a little bit of basic automation just to show you how to, um, how to automate the MIDI. So if I press read and write automation now, and press play and if I move any one of these parameters what that will do is create an automation lane so there you go you can see it's created an automation lane I'm recording it and if I click resonance it creates my second one now yours may not do this straight away so what we need to do in order for you to be able to do it uh, like I have is basically if you go to this little triangle here and open automation panel or as it suggests there press F6 so let's do that and this automation panel opens up and at the very bottom you've got the settings tab so if we click that basically make sure this reveal parameter on right is checked and what that does like it says is when this right automation is selected and if you move any parameter whilst pressing play what it'll do is it'll automatically create this automation lane for you very very handy so um, let's just change the let's say the Decay and sustain. And you can see there, look, you've got a decay and sustain. Nice and simple. What we'll do is actually delete the automation on those two and we'll delete those tracks. And let's take right automation off. So there you go, we've got a basic bit of automation um, on our MIDI. Now, the idea being what we would do now, let's say we're happy with this and we want to bounce it down to audio. Something I like to do because I like to use a lot of audio effects, although you can still do it within the mixer. I much prefer sometimes to bounce things down to audio because it means you will move on. Otherwise, you'll be constantly wanting to tweak parameters and presets. So sometimes it's just quick and easy to bounce it to audio. So what we can do, within Cubase Pro 8 is if we highlight our MIDI now and right click we can go to render in place again if your settings don't show up like this we can just go to edit render in place and render but what we'll do we'll go to render settings first now here's our render settings and you can see here you do have different parameters so if we have channel settings basically it will put anything that you've got on your channel including inserts complete signal path uh, will be your channel your inserts your sends and also if it's going to a group so basically we'll just do dry in this instance so if we click render it'll take a minute and as you can see there now it's 
basically rendered our audio down and you can see our automation and filter cut off so let's just solo this and have a listen So there you go, it's it's really, really quick to bounce down to audio. The reason I thought I'd do this tutorial is I did get asked the other day, how do you just create audio from your MIDI files? So, and this is one way, obviously rendering place is new to Cubase 8. So if you have previous versions of Cubase, uh, rendering place is not supported. So you would have to do it a slightly different way, which would be to select the MIDI part, press P, which makes sure your left and right locators are at the start and end of the MIDI. However, if you had, say, a reverb or delay, you'd, you'd have a reverb decay tail as well as a delay tail. So you'd, you'd maybe want to move your right locator out so your reverb would taper off or your delay would taper off. So once you've selected that, go to File, Export, Audio Mix Down. We'll call this Test 2 select your destination folder here you can also select your sample rate and your bit depth and basically I make sure that I have audio track and pool selected click export and what happens now that'll bounce down and there you go there's your audio part check that body